Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Hyper-V Manager and then create and manage virtual machines in Hyper-V. First, I will right click on the start menu and then select apps and features. On the right side, there is programs and features. I'll select that one. And then on the left side menu, I'll choose turn Windows features on and off. I will expand Hyper-V and then select Hyper-V Management Tool. Then I'll click OK. And then close this window. So I'll close this window. Also, I could use Command Prompt and make this feature available. In that case, I will open command prompt in administrative mode. And then use deployment image services and management tool. The command is DISM space online space forward slash enable feature. Space forward slash feature name colon Microsoft dash Hyper-V oh. This will ask to restart the machine Use either the graphical user interface mode or the command mode to install Hyper-V manager The machine has been restarted. I will log in. Now I will run Hyper V Manager from Administrative Tools. So I will click on the Start menu and type in Administrative Tools. Select Windows Administrative Tools. And then from here, I will select Hyper V Manager. So Hyper-V Manager is a virtual machine management environment and it is similar to VMware Workstation. In Hyper-V Manager, we can create and manage virtual machines. Under Hyper-V Manager, it's showing the machine in which Hyper-V Manager has been installed. So this machine name is Lawn CL2. As you can see, the machine name is Long CL2. So I'll close this window. Next, I'm going to create a new virtual machine. Under the action menu, I will choose new and then virtual machine. I'll go next, then give a name to this virtual machine and go next. Generation 2 virtual machines offer many features as compared to generation 1. Generation 1 supports both 32-bit and 64-bit OS. I will keep generation 1 and go next. For the startup memory, I will choose 2 GB, so 2048 MB, and keep use dynamic memory and go next. I can connect to the default networking switch or I can create virtual switch later. I'm going to create virtual switch later and connect later. So I go next. For the hard disk size, I'm going to choose 20 GB. And I can also choose a different location than the default. I will keep the default and go next. I can choose to install the operating system right now. In that case, I will select this option and map the ISO image but i'm gonna install the operating system later so i select the first option and go next this is the summary of the virtual machine and i will click on finish the basic virtual machine has been created now i'm going to change the settings of this virtual machine i'll go to the settings i'm going to change the memory size to 1 gb so 1024 
Also, I'm going to change the processor to two processors and then apply and OK. Next, I'm going to create virtual switches. So I will go to virtual switch manager and then select private virtual switch. A private virtual switch can be used to communicate between virtual machines in the same physical machine. So I'll select create virtual switch and name it as private switch. Apply and OK. I will create another virtual switch. So virtual switch manager and then internal. An internal virtual switch allows virtual machines on different physical machines to communicate with each other. So I will click on create virtual switch and name it as internal and then apply and OK. Next, I'm going to change the connection of the network card to a virtual switch. So I'll go to settings and then select the network adapter and then choose the virtual switch as private and then apply and OK. Now I can turn on the virtual machine, but I have not installed the operating system yet. If I want to delete the virtual machine, I can right click and then select delete. I can do some other operations such as rename a virtual machine and moving a virtual machine and so on. Also, I can create snapshot and it is known as checkpoint in Hyper-V. This checkpoint is the same as snapshot in VMware Workstation. Now to start installing the operating system, I need to mount an ISO image to the CD DVD. So I will go to settings and then select DVD drive and then select image file and browse to the ISO installer. And then apply and OK. Now this virtual machine VM1 is in Hyper-V manager and this Hyper-V manager itself is in a virtual machine named here as long CL1C. VM1 is in Hyper-V and Hyper-V is in long CL1 which is in VMware workstation in my physical machine. So this Hyper-V is a nested virtualization and a nested virtualization may not have all the features available. For example, if I start this VM, it might not be able to start and show an error message. Let's try to start this virtual machine and it is showing an error message. Because of nested virtualization, I cannot start this VM. However, if I have Hyper-V in my physical machine, there shouldn't be an issue to run this VM. I hope you found this video was helpful. If you would like to receive notifications on future videos, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and set up notifications by tapping on the bell. Thank you for watching.